Hey, what's going on guys? It's TB and our frags, aka Preston here, and welcome back to the Random Nuclear Generator Class Series in Black Ops 2, Episode 16. That was a mouthful. Oh my lanta. That's okay though. Um, so anyways, this class is so much fun. It, it was a blast getting this nuclear. No pun intended. It was awesome. The B-23R pistol... I, I, you know, one thing I don't understand about the B-23R pistol is that it's a burst fire pistol, right? Pister. It's a, it's a, it's a pister, baby. No, it's a pistol, right? So, is what I don't understand, though, is why does it shoot faster, and why is it better than the SWAT 5.56? I mean, the SWAT 5.56 is a primary weapon, but honestly, it takes, like, usually two bursts for me to kill a person. But the B-23R pistol is a secondary, and... I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. Like, I would rather use this gun, even at a long-range distance, than the SWAT. Like, I feel like it does more damage. I, you know, I haven't obviously looked at it in the statistics, because I really never played with the B-23R pistol. I kind of overlooked it. I was like, you know, this pistol looked kind of cool, but, uh, you know, I'd rather just use the TAC-45. And I thought the Cap-40 was, like, super overpowered, because everybody and the grandmother was running around with Cap-40 laser sights, and were like, you know, LOL, I can just hip fire you in three bullets across the map, no big deal. And I was like, I don't want to be a so associated with you scumbag cap 40 laser sight users so I pretty much ignored them but the fact that I got to play with the B23R because of this nuclear setup was really cool and I got to see like really how good this pistol is and I just don't understand because I, I, I just don't understand like why would you ever want to use the SWAT assault rifle when you could use the pistol I mean I guess you know the ammo it's you know this has 15 shots in it while the SWAT has 30 so it's got twice, uh, you know, the, si the clip size, so you can, I don't know, you can shoot a lot more with the SWAT. But why? Like, I mean, just why? Like, the SWAT, when you have it out, you run slower. Um, when you aim down the sight, you move slower. It's just like everything about the SWAT in comparison to the, the you know, and look at this guy. I don't know how he didn't kill me. I should have died right there. But anyways, you know, my rant's over with. I just don't understand why... The, uh, the, 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 you know, the SWAT is so bad in comparison to the secondary pistol. I think Treyarch needs to kind of, like, look into the B-23R and be like, you know what, maybe we should kind of trade the stats here. Because the one thing that the B-23R does is that it bursts very fast. And the SWAT does not. Like, I would say if the SWAT shot a little bit faster, like, maybe, like, for example, you know, uh, the, was it, the rapid fire proficiency for Modern Warfare 3. If that was on the SWAT, then the SWAT would be a, you know, wow, what's going on with my voice? I think I just bit my tongue. But the SWAT would be a pretty good gun if it had, like, a rapid-fire proficiency, but, like, you didn't have to put anything on it. Like, if, like, let's say you took the SWAT out of the box, you got it for Christmas, and it shot as fast as the B-23R, that would be awesome. I would totally use the SWAT. And the only reason I like using the SWAT is because it's a challenging weapon, because it makes me, you know, it, it's difficult. And right here, like, uh, the entire enemy team rage quit, but, like, one guy. So I kind of sped up the gameplay a little bit. Otherwise, I would have got this nuclear very fast. It would have been, like, a three and a half minute, four minute, but ended up being, like, four and a half, five minutes, you know, give or take, whatever, uh, around that time. So, anyways, rant over with. I'm just kind of curious why the B-23R pistol is so beast and the SWAT is not. Although I did use the SWAT a little bit. And I, is what I did is I put on full auto, and I don't know why, but it never dawned on me. I was like, whoa, I can put full auto on the SWAT, and it's going to be awesome. And, and then it just took me so long to realize that I could do that. And once I did, you know, the SWAT's a pretty good gun. It's what I like to use on it. I like to go, like, quick draw. Uh, I have three attachments. Quick draw, uh, select fire, and then what's the other one? Uh, a silencer. Silencer actually works pretty well in the SWAT. It's, you know, it's a fun class setup. It's kind of goofy. It's kind of quirky. You know, something to kind of mix it up a little bit. Also, if you guys didn't know, I posted Crisis 3 gameplay. Right now, I'm in love with Crisis 3. It is so much fun. Um, okay, so I haven't had this much fun with a first-person shooter game since Call of Duty 4. That's what Crisis 3 is to me. Crisis 3 is amazing, and I've posted two videos of it on my channel. If you guys haven't go, like, if you haven't watched them, go watch them. They're only seven minutes long each, and let me know what you guys think about them, because honestly, everybody that's watched them has loved them. They say awesome things about them, and they love the videos, so I'm going to keep posting more Crisis. But anyways, guys, have a wonderful and safe day. Thanks, guys, so much for watching this episode. Hope to see you guys in other videos, and I will check you guys out later. Goodbye.